Hi everyone. So today we're gonna gonna talk about how the ultimate power tower paradox. So the power tower paradox um, is definitely one of my favorite subject in Googleology, and it never fails to amaze or mind blowing people. Uh, I already did a few videos on that, but it looks like still many many people get confused or get mind blown every single time. I mean, recently most of the polls, uh, I have a few polls about like asking which is bigger um, and there are a few options that you can pick and I have to say um, between 70 to 90% of the people pick the incorrect answer. So that means only between 10 and 30% of people are correct. On average so let's look at why it is so crazy definitely one of the craziest thing in uh, Googleology is this power tower paradox and so let's get started anyway so um, I'm gonna just focus on the most recent poll I think which is the most important one so basically out of these five which one is the biggest I think most people pick this one Googleplex double arrow 4 which is you know the double arrow thing means a power tower with that high so this one is equal to Googleplex to the Googleplex to the Googleplex to the Googleplex with four levels high I think most people pick this one. I think it kind of makes sense, you know, because Googleplex is way, way, way bigger than any of these numbers over here. So 1.44, 1.45, 2, and 3. So it kind of makes sense. And, um, and I think there's some people, smarter people maybe, I don't know. They pick 2 double arrow 10 or 3 double arrow 8. And of course, there's a lot of people pick this one also. Um, I mean, they all make sense, kind of, because some people, if they have watched my videos or have some knowledge, they know that the, the last number here plays a very big role, much bigger role than the first number. But is this enough? Is 100 enough to beat this thing? Because the front number, Googleplex, is much bigger than 1.44. Um, but I think I think people will pick this one. It kind of makes sense because this one is 1.44 to 1.44 blah, blah blah blah, and there are hundred levels over here. This one there are forty levels. This one has eight. This one has ten. And I'm just gonna tell you the first one. The answer is not this one. Um, well, first of all, um, let's look at the um, why that's the case because. Let's look at here quickly and here you can I mean I already tell you these two websites over here the first one is hypercal the second one is wufam alpha those two are the website that you can kind of calculate very big towers in uh, including power towers so the trick here is that as you can see here pretty easy two to the two to the two with three tools is bigger than three very straightforward and with four twos is bigger than two threes and five twos is bigger than three threes and you can clearly see the pattern over here so in here there are five levels and here are three levels so basically when there are two more levels over here than this one then this is bigger than this so two more levels of two is enough to be greater than a power tower of three you only need two more levels because the pattern just keeps going forever because again remember you have to start from the top to the bottom so again since we know that the number of levels plays a much much bigger role than the first number so basically the last number here represent the number of levels so you start from the top to the bottom so in here i mean this the left side is always bigger than the right side and the number over here for the next level this one this number represents the tower itself so it becomes the power so therefore since this one is always bigger than this one so the pattern will hold forever the next one you just add one more two at the bottom here you add one more three at the bottom but since the power itself is this is much bigger than this one so it doesn't matter the base anymore so all you need is two more tools and for googleplex it turns out that um five threes is bigger than googleplex so therefore googleplex to googleplex is smaller than six 
three. So all you need is four more levels if you're using three versus Googleplex. So in this case, um, you only need four more levels. So therefore, three double arrow eight is bigger than Googleplex double arrow four. So all you need is four more levels. Even if your power tower is like a Googleplex high or even grams number or three, three levels high, but all you need still, it did patterns holes. You can use these two calculator to try it yourself. So three, three plus four levels of three will be bigger than three, three levels of Googleplex. So it's kind of mind blowing already. I think most people don't, cannot believe that. So you can already see this is bigger than this. And this one in turns is bigger than this. But now what about these two over here? So I know a lot of people get tricked. Uh, some people said it's a good trick. But actually if you, again, you can plug in the numbers yourself, you'll find out which one is the biggest. And this one surprisingly is the smallest. This one actually related to something called the um, infinite power tower. So it's related to something like this. I think this is a pretty famous problem over here. So x to the x to the x with infinite amount of levels, it equals two. So can you solve for x? So in this case, since this power tower is infinite, so basically you can, uh, I mean, ignore the bottom x over here and this will still be equal to 2 because this is infinite so then you quickly get that x to the power of 2 or x squared equals 2 and x equals the square root of 2 and x is equal to around 1.414231356 so and you can solve this and you can plug it into the calculator actually this is correct so if x is square root of 2 even if you have an infinite tower over here it will still equal to 2 it will not be bigger than 2 so Good trick over here, and this is I think even more mind blowing than something like this over here. So um, I know you know since, uh, but one point four four is bigger than one point four one, right? So some people say this one actually diverges to infinity, but is that the case? Is it that simple? It turns out this is not the whole story. Um, let's say 1142, 1143, 1144, are they all going to be diverged to infinity or does it converge to a number such as 2? So it turns out that, I'm not going to explain why because it's going to be a very long video. You can watch some other video on YouTube, they explain why. It turns out that um, if uh, y is between 1 over e and e, then this thing over here has the solution. So y has a solution. But here, not we're not trying to find y, we're trying to find x. So it turns out that this infinite power tower of x converges to a number if x is between e to the power of negative e and e to the 1 over e. So this is the approximation of here. So if x is between 0 0.065988 and one point four 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 six six seven eight six blah 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 blah, then this power tower, infinite power tower, will converge to a number. So it will not diverge to infinity. So turns out that since 1.44 is smaller than e to the power of 1 over e, that means this one converged to a number. Uh, it turns out to be close to e, but not exactly e. But this one, even if I change 100 to 3, 3, it will still not bigger than e. So this is not the correct answer. This is actually the smallest out of the five. But what about 1.45? So 1.45 is actually bigger than um, e to the power of one over e. So therefore it will diverge. It will not converge to a number. But the question is, is 40 enough? Is 40 levels of 1.45 enough? I think most people would say enough because you only need um, four more levels of three to beat Googleplex and Googleplex is much, much, much bigger than three. And 1.45 is, compared to Googleplex, 1.45 and three is pretty close, right? It's only slightly bigger. So I think, and here the, the, the level is way bigger. This is like 32 levels more than this one. This is only four levels. So I think most people would say this will, but again, you can easily try these two calculators over here. It turns out that 1.45 double arrow 40, so is it that big? It turns out it's around 6.1659. So 
Another mind-blowing thing about the power tower paradox, it, again, like I said, it never fails to amaze, is that it grows very, very slowly at first. So even with 40 levels, you only get 6.16. So, but again, like I said, it will diverge to infinity. So when will it start to get big suddenly? It turns out that you add 5 more levels, so with 45 levels, it will be bigger than a Googleplex. And from after 45, it just kind of grow similar to Googleplex to the Googleplex to the Googleplex. That's the crazy part about Power Tower Paradox. So, but this is, again, this is 1.45. So now try to imagine if X here is just slightly bigger than e to the 1 over e. So imagine if X is e of to the power 1 over e plus 1 over Googleplex. So this will be 0 0.0000, 0, 0, 0, 0 with around Googleplex number of digits, and then of course one at the end. So this, what would this power tower look like? Let's say infinite power tower. So this power tower of X, at first it looks like it converts to E. But after a very, very, very long time, my guess would be around a Googleplex number of levels, then it suddenly diverged to infinity. Suddenly it grows it looks like flat, looks like it converged to E, and then suddenly after a Googleplex level, suddenly from flat, you suddenly jump up. And after that, it will grow similar to Googleplex to the Googleplex to Googleplex. This is the mo one of the most mind-blowing thing about this power tower thing, is that you never know what would happen. It looks like the pattern holds, but suddenly it changes. It suddenly diverged. And it diverged pretty crazily. So like it's com from completely flat to suddenly vertically. So that's why I would say um, this thing over here makes me wonder maybe quantum tunneling is definitely possible because even though something after Googleplex levels still looks like flat, but you never know what the next step would turn out. It could suddenly from flat to vertical. So something you know, any pattern that will hold may not actually hold forever. Imagine if this is 1 over G64, then you probably need G64 number of levels to make it diverge. But again, this is, I think this is not, still not the most mind-blowing thing. One more mind-blowing thing about this power tower thing is, what if X is between 0 and E to the negative E as here? So an e to the neg negative e is around 0 0.065, blah, blah, blah. And if x is between 0 and this number, I think it's even crazier and nobody would expect that, is that this power tower form, is x is between these two numbers, it will diverge. Since, you know, this is outside of this range, if x is between these two, it converge to a number, to a small number, but it's smaller than that, so it diverge. Diverge means it's not converging. And it actually diverged not to infinity obviously and not to negative infinity but it diverges between 0 and 1 so you I don't think you will get a solution for that because the number keeps jumping up and down it will be somewhere between 0 and 1 so that's the craziest thing about this so far I think is this one if x is between these two number and this power tower infinite power tower it will diverge between 0 and 1 so anyway, this is my video on the ultimate power tower paradox. I'm not sure if I will create more video on this topic, but again, this is the craziest topic, one of the most craziest topic in Googleology. But again, again, uh, in conclusion, the answer for this is 2 double arrow 10. The second biggest is 3 double arrow 8. The third biggest is Googleplex double arrow 4. The next is 1.45 double arrow 40, and the smallest is 1.44 double arrow 100. If you still don't understand, feel free to leave a comment and don't forget to try out these two calculator here. And again, I think around 80% people pick the wrong answer every single time on average. Anyway, thanks for watching and have a nice day.